plaintiff, Dominique Simmons, was friends with the defendant for six years, and they ran the streets together. Dominique says she turned her life around, and she's suing because she got the defendant a phone in her name, and then she opened up two more lines without Dominique's permission and failed to pay the bill. Defendant Ashley Anderson admits that she and Dominique used to be friends and says she was once jumped because of Dominique. Ashley admits that she got a phone in Dominique's name, but denies opening up any other lines. All right, give me the background. Okay, um, me and Ashley Anderson was friends for six years. I knew her since 2008. I mean, we were in the streets together, we fought together, we did everything together. At that time, that was my lifestyle. I wanted to change my life. She wasn't cool with it. Um, December, she was locked up. December of what year? December 2012. And so, um, I guess she wasn't for my lifestyle. I was changing my lifestyle. I got my GED. Yeah. I got my home health aid license, full handling license. I changed my life around. I got yeah. little sisters. I don't got time to be in the streets, Good running the streets. I don't Good got time for that. that. Um, we don't have a friendship. Why not? Because uh, she stopped talking to me, I guess, because the phone bill. Okay, she what you're talking. suing about. All right. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, give me some background. Me and Dominique used to be friends. I got jumped because of her. Anytime she needed me, I was there for her. You got jumped on because of her? Because of her. How so? Because she run her mouth too much. Because she talks too much, they jump you. Mm -hmm. Because I'm friends they with They say, you talk too much, and then they just start swinging on you. <laughs> they started swinging on me huh? because I helped her. You jumped in yourself? Yeah, okay. Oh, well, that's why they jumped you. <laughs> Go ahead. It's because of her. She made you? No, but I'm her friend. And your friend rob a bank, you gonna stand there and collect the money? If she give it to me. Okay, well that's why you got jumped on, because you, you make bad decisions. Okay. Anything else you wanna tell me? We was friends. She, I didn't stop being her friend because she changed her life around. Because if you change your life around, your boyfriend wouldn't be the same way I'm supposed to be in. Good enough. What are you suing her about? Um, I'm paying cell phone bills, a termination fee, a device that she didn't return. Okay, me and Ashley, um, May 6, probably 2012, mm -hmm. we went down to the Sprint store. Ashley asked me, she said, Dominique, can I use your name for Sprint? I said, no problem. She had bad credit, so she couldn't use her name. So mm -hmm. we went down to the Sprint store. I mean, we purchased a phone. It's supposed to be $80 a month. I mean, I agreed on one line. Okay, the man in the store, the sales rep said to, said to us, um, what do you want your, well, he said to me, he said, what do you want your um, passcode to be? I said, Miami. Ashley was standing right beside me, so she got it. So whatever he your said. Your password. To, yeah, whatever mm -hmm. he said to me, she, she heard it. So um, before leaving out the Sprint store, she said to me, Dominique, you ain't got to worry about me paying the cell phone bill. I got it. Okay, meaning that was my best friend. I didn't think that she would betray me or do anything to jeopardize my credit. So, um... She added a third line by February 13th that I didn't know about. She didn't contact me. She didn't say, well, Dominique, hey, I want to add a second or third line. Is that okay with you? She just added it. I mean, she the, the bills was going to her house because when we went there, she was like, since it's my phone, I send it to my address. I said, no problem. So when she added that third number in February 13th, um, she also added an airwave, and an airwave is for you to, um, a signal booster to boost up the signal in your house. So, um, I didn't get any phone calls about Sprint until May. So, she was, they were saying to me, like, oh, it was a Sprint bill that was $720. I contacted Ashley. I said, oh, do you need help paying the bill? She said, no, I don't need help paying the bill. What you can do is, she was like, tell Sprint that you lost your ID and your social and somebody stole your identity and got a phone in your name. So. She asked you to commit a crime. Yes, basically. In an effort to pay the bill. Yes, so that's what she wanted me to do. I said, no, because if I do that, go and say, show payments back from your house. She said, oh, I don't know. I said, okay. I said, why you ain't telling me you was having problems? You're problem? telling her how you wouldn't do it because you don't want her to be in trouble. Mm-hmm. Well, I said, well, you didn't tell me you was having tr trouble with the phone bill. She was like, I don't know. I said, we could have worked out something. She was like, oh, why are you telling me about a phone bill? It's not that serious. It's going to get paid. And I don't know why you stressed me out about this phone bill. All right, so, let's hear from her. Ma'am? My birthday is May 2nd. I just turned 18. 
my credit couldn't have been bad by May 6th. So we went to the Sprint store. She said, since you didn't get your ID yet because I just turned 18 May 2nd, I'll get the phone and my name for you. I said, sure, I'll pay the bill. It's $80. When we walked in the Sprint store, she had to pay, make a $100 deposit because her credit wasn't so good. If I were to put the phone in my name, I wouldn't have to have made no deposit. So I paid the $100 deposit. We got the iPhone, we walked out the store. I paid the bill from May 6, 2012, all the way up to April 2013. She contacted me, oh, the bill's not being paid. I got locked up in December. I lost my job. I, don't, I was still paying the bill up until April. I don't have the $80. The uh, extra phone line. You tell them to get it from the prison guard. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. They're the ones. Their fault, that right? Easy. Right. Technically. <laughs> Go ahead. And then, if I didn't have the eighty dollars to pay my phone bill, where the two lines come from? How you think I'm gonna pay them? And then, when you walk into the Sprint store, it's not that easy. Oh, the password is Miami. They still want to see the photo ID. They still want to see the social. I can't just go in the Sprint store and say, I want to add to line. The password, the password is Miami. So they you was, didn't do it? No, I didn't do it. All right. And what about this discussion about uh, encouraging her to uh, commit a crime in order to pay the bill? I went to jail for the first time, and I didn't like it. So but, this time you want to... Let no, her get a taste of it. I went and <laughs> put her in a situation. She barely can handle it. You encouraged it. her to? No, I didn't. Oh, she said she didn't oh, tell you I have the messages to commit right a crime in order to eliminate the bill. You I have, have the, a text saying she did? Yes, I do. Pull that. Get this you didn't see. text her anything such as that, ma'am? No. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Oh. She said she's going to show me. Okay. I'm glad you changed your life, though, in all seriousness, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. That's the first one right there. Sprint called me the other day and said the bill for the phone is 770. Is there any way that you could try to pay it? You pay me some, I will. So you don't have to pay nothing. All you got to go to the police station, tell them you lost <laughs> your social, and I, somebody got a phone in your name, and send the paperwork to Sprint, and they will cancel it. She says, no, nah, that's not going to work because if it goes to the police station and tell them that I need some documents from Sprint and it's going back to your house, your response is, oh, well, I can only give them what I have. Ma'am, you don't remember that? No, because I don't even be on Facebook. So you don't have Facebook? I have one, but I don't be on it. So why do you have it then? Because I used to be on it. <laughs> Pardon me? Because I used to be on it. And my name on okay. Facebook is well, Ashley Anderson. This is you too. This is a few months ago. That's not today. Judge me for the plaintiff. $1,098. <laughs> Throw that on your head. There's nothing to say to her. She's yeah. not even a person in my eyes. That's fine with me. 